Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and a Capricorn Rising. Weekly tarot reading, May 27th to June 2nd, 2019. And bear with me a uh, second, guys, to uh, shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we can go uh, straight away into the spread. All right, so uh, the first card which represents the very topic of the Capricorn's week, that is going to be the Eight of Wands, followed by the second one which represents the challenges that Capricorn needs to face here, that will be the Five of Cups, followed the third one which is the positive aspect of uh, the uh, week itself, that will be the Queen of Pentacles, and the last one which you do have Capricorns, we do have the Judgment, card as a guidance the tarot is offering to you so uh eight of wands it is the very topic followed by the five of cups as a uh, challenge then it is the uh, queen of pentacles as the um positive aspect and finally we do have the uh judgment card which is the guidance so capricorns uh this is one of the rare cases where the topic works against you and uh, that is because uh, just as the overview of the reading, you're trying at least um, the majority of your, just the reading says that you are trying to escape from something, like to uh, forget something or to convince yourself that it is better that way, okay? <clears throat> and to move on forward uh, with your life. Now, the bad thing here of doing so, you know, because sometimes you just need to let things go. The bad thing of it is that you are not doing it the right way here. With the Eight of uh, Wands, this card points that the, the week is going to be very crazy. In a sense of that, with the attempt of you to, for example, overcome the poignant uh, breakup with your uh, girlfriend or with your boyfriend or with your um ex you know in the recent past um, or uh, the uh, the opting to cope with the uh, recent firing from from one's job or you know the recent demotion in this kind of stuff or in any kind of uh, poignant situation you are to try this week to indulge with any kind of activity that comes in your way with the Eight of Wands. Now, the thing is that there are going to be those activities, you know, which are going to make uh, which are going to help you to keep your mind occupied and will help you to really forget about how uh, bad a particular situation is. But the thing is that the Eight of Wands is a very risky card. It is like high risk, high reward type of card. And if you don't approach those um, enterprises with clear headed mind and uh, actually um, accurate analysis of what those um, options available are really presenting to you. You uh, are jeopardizing to lose, as a matter of fact, everything, no different than, for example, because you are mad at your husband or at your wife, you strive to cheat on them, okay? So it can go to that extreme measures. And the accompanied card here, it is the 10 of uh, Cups Formation Active Enemies. You 
are to experience pleasure in a short term from those indulgements here in an in attempt to forget about that poignant experience or about that misfortune. But soon after, you are going to regret it. Simply, you are going to realize that that was not the right thing you to do. So, important throughout this week, Capricorns, for your behalf, is to when you opt to do something, think first about the consequences you are creating after, you know, your initiation. Because those consequences for a change are going to matter. And whatever you do throughout the week, you will have to pay the price for it. And I hope this price is not more than you actually know. The next card, it is the challenge that you need to overcome here, and that is the Five of Cups. So uh, the Five of Cups points to this... Um, Emotional turmoil, if I may express it that way, or dissatisfaction of the current stage of where you are finding yourself, either relationship-wise, career-wise, you know, or, or uh, friendship-wise, it doesn't matter. Uh, the thing with the Five of Cups and as a follow-up to the Eight of Wands is that someone may do stupid things, okay? So, giving you another example here, because you are single for a quite a long time, that is the poignant situation and you have enough of it. And that's why you are determined to basically jump into a relationship with the first one who shows interest. And that turns out to be the wrong move that you are to do. So whatever criteria you do have for yourself, you know, you have to follow up with them. That is the test. That is the challenge here with the five of cups saying that yes, the situation not every every time is fortunate, all right? Yes, you may suffer certain losses, but these are partial losses. And they should not be a prerequisite for you to give up on your original goal, to be with specific type of person, to work specific type of job, you know, or to simply be happy in a specific way. The accompanied card here, that will be the Ace of Wands formation. It is a, a passive enemies. And the Eight of Wands points that salvation lurks behind every corner, right? From every enterprise that appears further down the road, you can find your salvation. As a matter of fact, these cards are pointing that should you deny your failure in the sense of that should you be determined to move along with uh, in the same way, in the same path that you have decided, for example, stick with your family, you know, or stick with your career path and so on and so forth. Many gaining for enterprises are to come around further into the future. So you should not choose the easy way around, you know, first plight you face or you know, face a certain plight, you bail out with the white flag. And then we come to the positive aspect of the week here. That will be the uh, Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles, it is a person that will uh, not exactly support you throughout the week, but this is a very self-absorbed person. Someone who is well-established, okay? And the thing with the Queen of Pentacles is that this person worked very hard to establish themselves in this way. So what I do suspect here is to happen is that this person had similar situations back in the days as you are facing right now. For example, similar problems into career, you know, similar problem problems into marriage or into relationship. She or he, that is, persevere through it. And basically what that person will do is to encourage you to fight for what you think is substantial for your life, right? substantial for your happiness. She will encourage you to seek for the opportunities in your current deeds, into your current endeavors, heretofore yet unexplored by you, that is. The accompanied card here, that will be the Nine of Cups. So we now can see the key of, uh, how can I say it, the key of sustainability here. Because uh, what the real secret the Queen of uh, Pentacles is going to show you, not tell you, because everybody can tell you that, but she's going to show you how to do it, is that once you uh, reach a certain uh, stage of happiness, right, you're happy with your involvement into your uh, family, let's say, just reaching that point isn't enough. Right, because at certain moments you can have your wish fulfillment, sensual joy, you know, and in reality, you can reach a point where everything you wish for comes true, but that point gets surpassed, and you have to secure on that thing. You know, reaching an achievement is one thing, 
sustaining it is another. To give you an example straight away, in the medieval age, you know, an emperor could be dethroned with one rebel with one rebellion, but the new emperor needs to put down a lot of efforts in order to sustain himself on the throne. Because the throne as it was took, as it was taken, excuse me, with rebellion, such can be done to himself as well. So you have to put additional efforts after you reach that point of self-satisfaction. So you can uh, secure, you know, that short-term happiness and temporary success into a, a long-lasting one. And uh, finally, we do have uh, the judgment card, which is the guidance. So judgment here points, uh, it kind of solidifies the Ace of Wands cat catalyst into the Five of Cups. It does point that, you know, even though you may now may not see a way out of your situation, such presents, you know, and should you wait or seek it enough, it's going to be presented to you. Additionally to that, the judgment um, <clears throat> could advise you to try to reconcile in case, uh, you know, you recently broke up with your uh, boyfriend or a girlfriend, you know, or... If you're thinking of uh, divorce, maybe the, this card is pointing you that maybe you can find a way out. Maybe you, uh, your husband or a wife deserves a second chance as well. Because the judgment is about union and reunion. It is about uh, when the hub falls into the shaft, when the shaft, excuse me, falls into the hub. And they work as a well-established uh, machine, right? And that machine cannot work with only one component. You are the one component. You need the other component as well. The accompanied card here, that will be the uh, Ten of Wands and the formation, it is in an active uh, supporters and I never said that it's going to be easy, you know, this card here to the judgment, it does point that it's going to take a lot of work, you know, to make the things right. Uh, is going to take as well a lot of uh, compromises also. So if we're talking about marriage, you will have to please your wife or a husband and they will have to do whatever is necessary to please you as well but what that reading points is that there is no reason for you to seek your happiness elsewhere because for what i can see here you do have everything necessary <clears throat> it is just probably you're not capitalizing on all the means that you do have and this person that comes around um, or stepping out this week is going to show you on an example how to maximize you know <clears throat> upon the uh, means that you do possess and of course, with that, improve your uh, situation toward better. So that being said, Capricorns, this was your weekly tarot reading, May 27th to June 2nd, 2019. I uh, hope, guys, that you have enjoyed it. And we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.